G'day, Ben from Melbourne here, and today it's a twofer. It's going to be MGK Boston's 10 guys in suits combined with Vinyl Richie's drinking songs. Mainly to annoy Vinyl Richie because he said the whole suit thing was um, lame, but he obviously doesn't own a bad boy like this. Now, some of you have tried very hard. I'm going to uh, give honorary mentions to Sam St. John. Looked like a young knife. The old uh, Berwickshire Mike scrubbed up all right as well. But the rest of you, some of those ties, man. What's going on? And 80s business power suits or just... Were you like a bloody funeral director in your previous life? I don't know. You need to buy a new suit, people, so you can look sharp. And I know what you're thinking. This is just a suit jacket, but you'd be wrong. You want to know what's going on downtown. Mm. Just let me stand up and I'll show you a little sugar. Oh, yeah. It's the whole enchilada. Check those pants out. Ooh, look at that booty. Mm-mm. Now that's a goddamn suit. So, without further ado, we'll put the goggles on. Get into MGK Boston's 10 dudes in suits. Unfortunately, I didn't have any dudettes. Um, so, of course, they're all going to be Australian. And what better way to start with five dudes in suits... The mighty Easy Beats, the legendary 60s beat band from this here island down south, featuring Stevie Young, Harry Vander, and George Young, um, as well as Snowy Fleet, who was the drummer, and the other guy. That's been my experience with bass players, it's always the other guy. Great record. This was um, their first one with the hit, She's So Fine. Everybody loves that one. Hey Girls, a ripper as well. And on and on. Anyway, let's not dilly-dally. Next one, always known for his sartorial splendor, is the big cave star, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds here. Now you might be wondering, is a suit a suit without a tie? I'll say yes, but a suit with a cravat is a travesty. So there we go on the back, the bad seeds, always beautifully suited there. Um, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, not including Nick. So that's 10 guys in suits, fantastic stuff. Very sharply dressed dudes indeed, the bad seeds. So moving straight along to Vinyl Richie's uh, Drinking songs, Thread. So, here we go. Let's use this one again. Because there is the great song. Uh, what is it? Track four. Brother, my cup is empty. He hasn't got a penny to buy no more whiskey and he's got to go home. Tough night at the races. The one that come to mind straight away for me was ACDC. Off Back in Black, last song, Have a Drink on Me. Don't know if you can even call ACDC an Australian band anymore. There's probably only two Australian passport holders left. Next up, of course, Mental as Anything, with their great album Get Wet, and the classic The Nips Are Getting Bigger. There we go. You see that one up the top there? Let's see, let's, let's try some uh, lyrical wonders here. Started out drinking beer. Didn't know how or why or what I was doing there. Just a couple more made me feel a little better. Believe me when I tell you, it was nothing to do with the letter. Ran right out of beer. I took a look into the larder. No bones, nothing. I'd better go and get something harder. Back in a flash, I started on a dash of Jamaican rum, me and Pat Malone drinking on our own. Whoa, the nips are getting bigger. Whoa, yeah, the nips are getting bigger. 
you get the gist. Anyway, quintessential drinking band and music, Cosmic Psychos. Um, they even named one of their newer albums Mountain of Piss. Uh, Go the Hack, of course, has got the legendary pub. Can't get much more drinking than that. Uh, next up, Hunters and Collectors. One of their early albums, The Fireman's Curse. And this one's got um, a drinking bomb on there. That one there. That one's a bit of a depresso one, as you can probably tell from the title. Next, The Beasts, which they are now known, formerly The Beasts of Bourbon, according to Tex, when I saw them earlier this year, that they are a Beasts of Bourbon tribute band, one of very few in the world where the tribute band membership has members which all played in the original band. But they're probably not the only tribute band where there's original members in the band. There's probably a lot of tribute bands out there with original members who don't realize they're a tribute band. I'm sure you can think of some. Anyway, back to drinking. So what has this one got on it? Of course, drunk on a train. We've all been there. And then a band even named in honor of drinking, The Drunk Mums. Everybody loves a drunk mum. And uh, they've even got two songs. Pub on my own, which probably leads to piss the bed. Mm -mm. Speaking of drinking, Friday cheers, people. Because this is an MG... Well, it was the first part on MGK Boston Thread. That's the Suits one. Um... Cosmic Brian, there's my Darth Vader stubby holder, or as you Yanks call them, koozies, fuck knows why. And we're just drinking stock standard Carlton Draft tonight. Good gear. Right, what are we up to? Paul Kelly and the Messengers with his great record, Comedy. And of course, this one, if you're Australian, you'll probably know which one I'm going to say straight away. I just got to find it. <laughs> uh, when you build things up and then it disappears in front of your eyes. There we go. Second track. Stories of me. So if you're like, what the? What's that got to do with anything? Have a listen to this shit. Speaking of depressing. Uh, Ever since you said goodbye, I've had a reputation. I'm not drinking on the sly. I'm the main, I'm the star attraction. Every morning I wake up, fill my cup and listen bitterly to stories of me. They say a man is going round, he looks a lot like me. They say that man is going down, it's looking pretty likely. Every morning he wakes up, fills his cup and listens shamefully to stories of me. Mm, another happy one about drinking. So let's um, just get into the party side. We're going to change formats to seven inches too. The Mighty Scientist with Why Drink on Earth When You Can Get Pissed on Another Planet. And of course, Psycho Surgeons, Wild Weekend. That's got to be about drinking, right? And it can sometimes lead to some horizontal action. But sometimes it's a little bit awkward in the morning. And if you're going to have a wild weekend, of course, X, well, you might hate yourself. <laughs> Don't know about the whole city. But home is where the floor is. Some people find themselves in strange places after a big one. Anyway, that is my 10 suited up dudes for uh, MGK Boston's thread and drinking songs for Vinyl Richie. Get on board both threads and check them out in the details below. See you in the next one.